Praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord Jehovah. Amen. Now, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me this past night at about 3 a.m. in the night. Again, about 3 a.m. in the night. The Lord Jehovah spoke with me this past night. And uh, in that conversation, he showed me the resurrection of Mama Rosa and then resurrection, another that is coming up. But after showing me this resurrection of Mama Rosa, the resurrection glory, that anointing that he has brought the ministry, then at that point, the Lord showed me the tremendous, powerful glory of the Lord that left heaven and came as a huge mountain, a huge mountain. And this is now the pure white glory. Pure white like the glory the Lord normally uses to cover he that speaks with you. Like the glory he used to cover me at the riverside drive. Pure white, pure snow white, whiter than snow. That glory that he uses to cover me many times in the meetings above me to follow me, the pillar that he puts on me, the kind of glory he used to cover me at the center of Helsinki in Finland, the stunning sign and wonder of this age that we have seen when he covered me in the middle of Helsinki, in the city of Helsinki in Finland, the pure white glory of the Lord, pure white as the kind he used to cover me uh, at the Riverside Drive when the Lord came and transfigured me, and also when he transfigured me in Helsinki, and even the other time when I was walking in Helsinki at that healing service, and the glory was spewing, it was gelling and was swirling around in front of me, that type of glory, when the Lord showed me this resurrection and thing that he had deposited here to he that speaks with you, then all of a sudden I saw heaven open and a huge mountain of pure whiter than snow glory came down to the meeting there is a place that this will take place. There is a meeting that will take place. And I think it is a national Thanksgiving celebration service where Australia has been exalted, has been raised, where the Lord has raised the senior archbishop of Australia and I invited the church in Australia. And many other people globally will watch. They will watch. But I'm talking about in terms of visitation and uh, uh, visiting this place that they have surrendered their date for this. But I'm talking about that big meeting, that particular meeting. I saw the tremendous pure glory of the Lord, the white glory of the Lord descend. So I do not know which meeting it is, but it seems to me this meeting, because it showed me the resurrection of Mama Rosa, the pure white glory, the kind that the Lord covers me with when he transfigures me, the type that you saw him cover me with in the middle of Helsinki at the healing service, the mighty sign and wonder of this generation, of this age, that we have been uh, witness of. And so I see that glory coming down to the church, coming down to a place where I'll be ministering, and I see the resurrection of Mama Rosa, I see her, and I see another resurrection, though, amen. But uh, in this case, the resurrection of Mama Rosa, and then now that glory comes. So this meeting... This upcoming meeting might be the place. So I have seen the pure white glory of Jehovah. Pure white glory like a mountain coming down from heaven, coming all the way down to visit the earth. And my worry is one that uh, sometimes this glory will take the church. It will be a matter of time and the glory takes the church. So even as we celebrate the resurrection of Mama Rosa, we need to make sure that our bearing on righteousness, the church in Kenya has now hit a climax. They are now chosen righteousness. The revival has shocked the world now because their hearts are totally awakened, their souls are awakened, their pursuit for righteousness and holiness. They live for the Lord. They live for righteousness at this hour. And many other nations also now can follow this mighty, mighty historic revival we are witnessing uh, in this land. And so the church again, will be visited in that pure white glory. But the only caution here is that sometimes I have seen that glory to the church. I'm not saying that will be the day of the rapture. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that we need to be very careful 
I have seen the pure white, more whiter than snow, glory come from heaven, come like a mountain, and come all the way down where his servant will be ministering. And at that time, I see resurrection of Mama Rosa. I see her. So that means it might happen in this upcoming meeting where we have invited, the Lord has invited Australia, the senior leadership there, and the entire church if they can come. But uh, this is a historic time then when Jehovah Ori, the Lord my light, Ori, Ori is my light, Jehovah Miskabi, the Lord my high tower, Jehovah Mashi, the Lord my refuge, Jehovah Maoz, the Lord my fortress, Jehovah Chezek, the Lord my strength, Jehovah Elion, the Lord most high, Jehovah El Olam, El Gibor, Jehovah Sabaoth, Jehovah Adonai, Elohim, he is coming to visit in a tremendous way in his most powerful cloud, but the cloud of the pure white glory is coming. This is the most historic time in the history of the life of the church. And that's why it is such a powerful thing that this church is now celebrating the resurrection power of the Lord. This is the only church now globally that is out in the streets and also wherever they are in their altars, celebrating. This is the only church globally now that is celebrating the resurrection authority of the Lord that he gave us on the cross. The resurrection power of the Father that he descended on that cross when Jesus atoned for our sin, when he died and resurrected. And so, this is the only church right now, again I repeat, that is celebrating the resurrection power and anointing of the Lord, the resurrection glory of the Lord. And so this is a climax. It hits a climax because resurrection is the most powerful authority of the Lord because death is the final enemy. Even the sin that the Lord rebukes and the Lord steers you away from, the wages of sin is death. Wickedness leads to death, evil, death. The devil brings death. So the slaying of the giant called death is the climax of revival in the church. This is the pure demonstration of the power and the authority of the Christian salvation on the earth here. And this is the only church. We are the only church right now that is celebrating the resurrection power and authority of the Lord. And that's why at this hour, let the celebration go to the maximum. You have right and authority to celebrate to the max. This is the heart of revival now, because death is the final enemy, and if death has been slayed, then it talks about the hope, the hope we preach in the gospel of life beyond the tombs, life beyond the graves, life beyond this mortal realm has been fully demonstrated here now. And so you can now lift up your heads and celebrate like none other, like never before. Now, at this time also, I have taken authority and released the healing anointing of the Lord. I have decreed a massive healing anointing of the Lord to cut all the churches that are tuned in, the churches of this ministry, that the creepers may get up and walk, the blind may see, the dead may hear, the meat may speak, the lame may walk, the tumors may dissolve, the wounds dry up, the kidney failures may be resurrected, new kidneys resurrected in their bodies, the heart conditions overruled and cancelled, the wounds dry up, HIV have cast you, have cast a virus that may dry up and you test negative in your hospitals. I have decreed healing over every single disease under the sun by the authority of the power that the Lord gave Jesus on the cross, that authority that the Lord has demonstrated in resurrecting Mama Rosa, by the authority of the power of the blood of Jesus, I now decree with my prophetic tongue the healing anointing all over all our churches now, 
and so it shall be according to the words of my terrible prophetic tongue. Amen and amen. The Messiah is coming. I bless you all as you celebrate. This is the climax of Revival Shalom. <laughs>